Hey guys, this is Trevor Daly. Hey, I want to share another quick tip in Lightroom. I'll keep this short. It's just a easy tip as to how when you're going through your photos and you're culling or you're picking out your favorite photos, how you can get kind of a better view of what you're looking at so you can decide between the images. So for example, in this situation as I'm going through this wedding, I might have four or five photos here that look very similar. And so what I'll do is I'll select those photos and I'll hit the letter N. Now when I hit the letter N, what I'm doing is I'm bringing up the survey mode. And the survey mode allows me to actually look through those images a little bit closer and compare them. Um, so now I can see, for example, oh, you know, out of these three images, I really like this one. And maybe I don't like this one so much, and so I can reject it. I'll hit letter G to go back to the library module. I'll go through my next series of images. I'll pick a few more, hit the survey mode. And again, same thing, I can go through and I can say, well, I, I really like this one, but I don't like this one so much. Hit the letter G. And it's just an easy way to be able to compare images. Now, if I see two images that look very similar, I can hit just those two images, and you can see it takes up more screen space. So now between these two images, I can see I really like the one on the left maybe not so much the one on the right. Um, so it's an easy way, the survey mode is an easy way for us to compare you know, two, three, four images in Lightroom that look very similar, but we just wanna be able to have them so they can take up more screen space. Now some people will just use the plus or minus key in the library module to make their thumbnails bigger or smaller. But what I found with the survey mode is it really allows me to just specify just those three or those four images that I would like to use. So hopefully this tip was useful. Again, it's the letter N brings up the survey mode. Just select the images you want to survey, the images you want to compare to each other. Bring it up. There you can see you know, those two, three, four images. Usually I try not to go beyond four, maybe five or six if it's vertical. But, um, but usually I try to take either three or four vertical or the... Uh, uh, horizontal layout and, and be able to choose between those. So hopefully this tip was useful guys. If it was, definitely feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm usually posting these videos about once a week or so and I try to keep them two minutes or less. So enjoy, have a wonderful day guys.